All right, here we are. The first inaugural episode of the Rena Hundred Show, starring me, Rena Hundred. <laughs> Oop, I just got a text. <laughs> show is going to be for your Sunday morning walks in 2023. And I'm just going to be talking about stuff that I've been thinking about. And maybe you've been thinking about the same things. Um, And there's going to be a Patreon that you can contribute to. And I'm going to put a little sound button for that right here. If you would like to support the podcast, and I hope you would. uh, I'm deleting this. No, I'll keep it. Hey, this is about being real. If you would like to support the podcast, the link to our Patreon is in the bio of our Instagram. I don't know why I'm saying our. I am one person. Nobody's doing this with me, as you can tell by the sound quality right now. Our Instagram handle is at the Arena 100 Show. On Instagram, look in the bio. Please join our Patreon. We'd love to have you there. There's lots of special features, blah, blah, blah. Thanks. And then let's get started. New Year 2023. In the beginning... Before, during, after, somehow it all gets jumbled in our feeble brains. We crave love that is whole and divine, and we find its lack longingly in brief fleeting flashes of the brilliant past, the might have beens, the times gone by. We aim for it with sad defeatist eyelids knowing it won't last. hoping the future will bring an impossible world of permanence. But if we would just open our eyes fully, now that would be something. So it's the beginning of the year. Are you thinking this is going to be my year? Are you thinking, I just hope this year isn't as bad as last year or the year before? Or are you thinking 2022 is so good? How am I going to top that? Well, lucky you, <laughs> you're thinking that. Um, I was thinking about the concept of a new year and as someone who's Jewish, but lives in a Roman Christian society and also knows their birthday, technically I feel like I have the chance to have a new year three times a year, once on the Jewish new year, once on the Roman calendar new year, and once on my birthday. Um, and that's weird because really you can only have a new year <laughs> once a year but i'm just going to talk about each of those and my experiences with them to stay on the theme of what today is a scooby doo bad and if you think this podcast is going to be more than my random brain mumblings you have tuned in to the wrong show all right there's my comedy voice for you So the Jewish New Year, the Jewish New Year. I think even hearing myself say that, it feels like a ton of bricks that just landed on my heart. <laughs> oh my God. The Jewish New Year is very intense because basically you're supposed to be taking stock of like, were you a good person this year? What could you have done better? What do you regret? What do you wish you could have changed about the kind of person you were this year? What and how is that going to inform your life moving forward? You take stock, but it's like you take negative stock. It's like everything you've done wrong, everything you've done in a way that made you feel shame about who you are as a person and how you've behaved. You take stock of that and then and you and you fast on Yom Kippur thinking about all that you're not eating you're you're you know that's like it's asceticism you're hurting yourself to focus on oh, how can i be better oh god how can i be so shitty and human all the time that i talk shit about people or i get jealous of people or i covet i don't know who <laughs> covet who uses that word in real life um You know, just just whatever shitty behaviors you do. Was I sneaky about something? The lies I tell any lies. Did I behave one way where my heart was in another place? And and you like go over and over and over it in your whiny, hungry brain all day. And 
And actually, this last September, my conclusion at the end of all of that deep meditation, which, by the way, I broke my fast early. I always do. I go, I start it on West Coast time, and then I end it on East Coast time because I get too hungry. <laughs> so I can't last. So even that, I'm, I'll probably have to repent for that next year. I don't know. Um, but my conclusion, basically, this year, what I'm working on is... <sighs> And this is going to sound cliche, and I'm actually kind of annoyed with myself with for even saying it out loud. But what I'm working on is forgiving myself. So any time that I feel like I'm giving myself too hard of a time, and like I wouldn't be giving some other person as hard of a time about the thing I'm giving myself a hard time about, I remember, remember, Rena, this that you forgive yourself. We're working on forgiving ourselves. You're okay. It's okay. You know, it's not, you, you don't have to bear the weight of the world on your shoulders. You don't even have to bear the weight of uh, half the world on your shoulders. You don't have to bear weight on your shoulders. <laughs> Hopefully not. Uh, cause that would be bad for my back, which is already falling apart. Um, so that's the Jewish new year. Now let's get to the Roman calendar. No, I'll go to my birthday next and then Roman calendar because that's today is the Roman calendar. So my birthday. Now my birthday, birthdays are weird because it's a personal day. You're not doing it with like everyone else in the world. It's not like uh, there's other people in the world that are like, this is a new year for all of us and we're all doing this together. No, it's really just between you and your parents and maybe your friends. I mean, friends, we try to pretend like we give a shit about other people's birthdays, but, like, let's get real, okay? It doesn't... I mean, like, we're happy that person's alive, but, like, you know, it's really just between you and your your mom or whoever had you, you know what I mean? Your parents, your upbringers, the people who were around around the time of your birth um, that really care. And, and he, you know, and maybe you can force your friends to celebrate it, too. I don't know. But I, for some reason, around my birthday, I often historically have felt a lot of shame. And I don't really know why. I think it's from this lifelong feeling of, like, being an imposition, of being a burden, which uh, nobody did that to me. Parents, if you're listening, hopefully you're not. But, um... But just this feeling of like everything was going on fine before Rena entered the world and then I came here and now I'm sucking up resources and, you know, trying to say things even though nothing needs to be said. And I don't know, maybe it's a maybe it's a very um, female experience of like not wanting to take up space, but like having a birthday means you have no choice but to take up space on that day. And that's just historically been very uncomfortable for me. Um, even one birthday of mine, I went so far as like, I just feel shame. I don't want to see people that I know on my birthday too much, which this has changed more recently. Like last year on my birthday, I went to Palm Springs with my fiance and it was amazing and we spent too much money and it was the, one of the best days of that year. So it can be good. But in the past, when I was like kind of a more, uh, let's say like emo, early 20s girl, <laughs> I didn't want to, I would either party to the point of blacking out or I just didn't want to see anybody that I knew. Like one birthday, I decided to not talk to anybody, not tell anyone it was my birthday and just go on a date with a random stranger off the Internet, which this story could have could have a much more horrific turn after this big this setup. But it actually it was just as awkward as you can imagine. So obviously I didn't tell him it was my birthday at first. Um, and we met up in a park, which is normal in Montreal. People hang out in the park. In most cities, it's normal, but it's like extra normal in Montreal. Montreal's like New York City that way, but better in French. Um, the bagels are better. You can write me an angry email. I really don't care. The bagels are better. We win the bagel war. The bagel war has been won. There was never actually a war because there's no competition. Nobody comes close to a Montreal bagel. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> I met him in the park on my birthday and... Uh, and everything was weird and we weren't really attracted to each other. And then we were sitting at this like picnic table and this girl comes up to us and is like, are you guys going to stay at this picnic table for a long time? And we were like, no, no, you can have 
the picnic table and she was like oh phew because it's my birthday and I wanted to have my birthday party at this this particular picnic table in the park and I was like why is my the thing I'm hiding from is literally excuse me really literally shown up on my anonymous date so I mean you can run I mean the lesson here is I guess you can run from yourself or you can try but eventually some weird coincidence is gonna happen and you're gonna have to face it anyway which brings us to the Roman New Year. Why am I singing it? I don't know, but I feel like singing it. And this is my podcast, so I can. I'm also going to have music on this podcast, I think. You know, it's so weird. Just side note, I thought I would have nothing to say. I wouldn't be able to think of anything to say. (laughs) I have been talking a mile a minute alone in my living room like a weirdo. I'm singing that too. Okay, the Roman calendar New Year. So that's also a weird thing because... The the Roman calendar New Year, like Christmas, has to, it always every year forces me to recognize that I am not the norm in this society. This is not a Jewish country. This is a Christian country as much as everyone's like, no, it's neutral, it's neutral. Yeah, okay. But it's Christian, bruh. It's Christian. Christmas, it's just, it's its the default. When something hides in plain sight and it's the default, like that's when you don't even notice it, it's like the air that you're breathing. This is a Christian country, whether you like that fact or not, whether it makes you uncomfortable or not. So, and it isn't, it's not that it makes me uncomfortable because I'm so used to it too. I'm just like, oh yeah, the country is Christian and I am Jewish and that's just the way things are. Why am I singing everything? <laughs> Okay, and uh, so that's uncomfortable because then it's like stark difference between me and other people that it's like, this is the new year that we all celebrate, like majority. You had your weird little thing, okay, in September. You had your weird little thing with your weird little group. But this is the real, capital R, New Year's. This is the brand name New Year's. This is like the, yeah, the New Year's with the branding that has gone viral, that everyone's on board with, and everybody's saying it every year, forever. It's not even a trend. It's just every year, this is the thing. Everyone's going along with it, and it's fun, and I don't mind celebrating it another new year because this one is much more lightweight. There's no guilt. There's no, there's no really reassessment for me. It's not as intense for me as it is for other people because I already had my New Year's in September. So I'm just like, oh, it's a party night. It's a renewal. It's like a Christian vibe of like, of like the way it is. Like there's a lot of levity in Christianity for me, which I know you can only have as like an outside observer. I'm sure being Christian is going to be a totally other experience. But from the outside, being like, oh, I'm not Christian, I'm just American, but like I celebrate Christmas and blah, blah, blah. That looks so chill from the outside as a Jewish person of just like, oh, there's no like beating yourself with self-reflection and a day of fasting and like this torturous past of being persecuted and and just a lot of pain wrapped up in it whereas like it feels like you know if you're like I grew up um I wasn't raised Christian I'm just American and I celebrate the holidays that looks so chill it's just like it's like all the fun parts of religion with without like the heavy god stuff or the heavy like like self-flagellation or like we're bearing responsibility so yeah it seems chill so it's like fun to like cosplay as just like a generic north american on that day for me because it's just fun and it just reminds me of fun uh experiences when i was younger when i would travel to new york city every new year's and party with my sister who lived there and then on new year's day we'd go see alvin ailey's revelations which was incredible and moving and just a nice like check-in with yourself when everything's shut down and it's cold and it's dark 
to just be like, let's celebrate with sparklers and a ball falling. Um, so yeah, so all this to say, I'm excited about what this podcast is going to bring into my life uh, this year, this Roman calendar year, because I'm going along with the flow of what's around and it'll just make sense to more people. Um, so this 2023, uh, I'm going to make <laughs> 72. Is that how many weeks? I hope I'm not getting that wrong. Is it 56? I didn't study math after 11. <laughs> I hope you'll join me on this journey. Um, you know, every week's going to be different. I don't know what I'm going to say, but basically it's just something to listen to on your early morning or late morning or mid-afternoon or evening Sunday walks. <laughs>